Zaid Arwani is with Islamic Relief Canada. His organization has worked with the Quebec City Mosque in the past. Islamic Relief Canada is mobilizing support for those affected by the deadly assault. And Zaid Arwani now joins me in studio. Let's take you back to last evening when the news broke of this. What was your reaction? Well, actually, I was in Edmonton, um, just preparing to come back to, to Toronto, and devastating. I was at the mosque a few months ago working with the community. We prayed our evening prayers, and after the congregation, you know, there was a very long, deep discussion about, led by the leaders of the congregation and the congregation itself about how the community can increase its support to vulnerable people, to com poor communities, both in Canada and globally, you know, Syrian refugees who are unable to come to Canada. And so it's, you know, a very empathetic community and a very people who are interested in the well-being of their neighbors and the you know, people around them. And so it was so, it was heartbreaking to, uh, to, to hear the news and I'm really, you know, thoughts and sympathies and prayers over the families who must be going through such a hard time right now. Let's talk about the act itself. Obviously, five times a day, you're called upon to pray. You go to the mosque. Uh, those times are easily accessible online. People would know when to go to target people praying at a mosque. What is that, uh, that event like for a Muslim? And, and what would their attitude be when that attack started? Well, your, your, your attention is undivided. You are facing uh, Mecca and your, you know, it's a spiritual act. You're in seclusion, even though you're with other people. Um, your, your head is bowed down. Um, typically, the doors, the entry points to the mosques are at the back, so normally people's backs are turned to whoever's coming in, um, you know, and because they're in prayer, they're in solitude. And so, it, the community, I mean, mosques are um, generally welcoming places and they're open places, and it's just a big empty hall for people to stand in contemplation. And so, yeah, they're quite vulnerable. They're quite vulnerable, and, um, and, and I, I understand that a lot of mosques and masjids across Canada are really looking at how, what type of security they have in the mosques. Is that also a moment where for a Muslim that is when they are most at peace, they are at one with their God? Absolutely. I mean, we, we, we see the, you know, the, the world around us today and there's so much to think about. You know, intolerance is becoming such a, uh, so vogue uh, suddenly and, and one thing we have to remind all our neighbors is, you know, intolerance doesn't just stop with four, six poor countries who don't have, you know, economic ties with the USA, once the wildfire of intolerance takes over, suddenly you're not Christian enough, you're not Republican enough, you're not conservative enough, you're, you're done. You know, it's, it's a wildfire and it really consumes communities and societies. And we'll look back and the charred remains of what was once a beautiful, cohesive community. Uh, and so it's, it's that type of contemplation that happens during prayer. You, you're, you're looking to, for guidance from God's holy words and you're looking for guidance inside yourself and you're thinking about your life and your day and trials and your neighbors and your friends and the poor. So it's a very, uh, it's, it's, you're engrossed. Um, you know, the ritual is one where you're kind of head bowed and you're going between kneeling and prostration. So it's a very, it's a very spiritual act and yeah. Christians would call that a state of grace that you'd be in. That's, yeah. a, that's a good, good term. How are Muslims across Canada processing these events? With, with shock. I mean, look, the Muslim community, um, people, when they say, when, when you say terrorist act, people think, you know, neo-fascists disguised as Muslims doing an act on people who aren't of the Muslim faith. But for us, the terrorism has been, you know, mosques across the globe have been targeted by this same group who the rest of the world fears. And then the rest of the Muslim community is then demonized and Islamophobia and the rhetoric of hate and the other becomes quite apparent and quite, you know, uh, everyone's talking in those tones and in that language. And, and so the Muslim community, as disappointed as we are, nobody is, everyone's just heartbroken that it, it happened. I mean, when, when you're targeting a community for so long, for so many years, in such, you know, vicious terms and so brazenly you know so brazenly I had a altercation with a guy in the plane coming back um, he was a, an American gentleman coming back from the plane he says oh you know all Muslims are terrorists, are terrorists and your Quran teaches you to kill everyone I says hold on where are so you getting this? Somebody said that to you on the plane, on the plane coming here. On the plane. All Muslims are terrorists and... Well actually he said all, Muslim, all terrorists are Muslim okay. all terrorists are Muslim and your Quran teaches you how to uh, you know uh, you have to kill everyone I says here's my Quran Te show me what it says it Say, Show me what it says. It. I'm going to have to stop you there, but I want to thank you so much for coming in and giving us your perspective on this. Thank you so much. Zaid Al Rani is with the Islamic Relief Canada.